Your account options allow you to control things like privacy settings and your password for PhotoBucket. Click on Account Options. You can change your personal information here. And then choose the default settings for your albums. You can make them public or private. If private, you can set a password that people will need in order to view them. You can choose how many thumbnail images of your photos you would like shown. And choose how to sort your albums by newest upload first, oldest upload first, or alphabetical. You can also choose to sort your existing albums this way as well. If you would not like your images that people click on to take them to the album where they came from, then uncheck this box. You can also select to have photos automatically rotated, which means that if they're sideways or upside down, PhotoBucket will automatically correct them and decide if you want to allow others to be able to copy your photos. This means that if someone right clicks on an image you have like this, they won't be able to save it or copy it to their computer. You'll see your mobile upload address here, which you can change, as well as the PIN. This is the email address you use when sending photos into your PhotoBucket account from your mobile phone. You can also see your username, the account type you have, mine is free, how long you've been a member, the number of files you've uploaded, and your account storage. If you'd like more features, then check out what you get if you upgrade to PhotoBucket Pro. The feature list is here. Thanks for watching and don't miss the next episode in the Beginner's Tips for PhotoBucket series. Hey, this is Doc. If you're looking for a cheap and easy way to put your own content on the web, go get domain names from Hover.com. Just visit Hover.com slash Butterscotch and you'll get 10% off and support shows like these. Thanks.